going. Uh, Tails first again. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a project that I've been working on. I uh, went to the dollar store and bought a few of these little guys here. They're just one dollar each. You get a solar panel, a AAA battery, a circuit board, a few wires, and this thing, which and it has a stake on the bottom, which is hidden inside the tube here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this just yet. Um, but I took all the solar panels, uh, ripped all the circuitry and batteries and stuff out of them, and wired them all up in series, so I believe that's series. So you got the negative all the way over here and then it goes through here and then the positive comes out that side. And then the wire goes into a battery pack that I have over there, which has a diode on it so it can't discharge back to the panels. <clears throat> and each of these panels alone by itself has an open current circuit, uh, um, circuit, what is it called? An open voltage, yeah, open voltage of three volts each. And with all of them put together, you get about 20 to 21 volts. And with the diode in there, it drops to about 19 or so. Um, right now, in the darkness here, we've got 0.8 volts. Um, we're about to put it out there so I can show you how this thing works. Um, everything right now is disconnected. Um, I have a Harbor Freight panel out there, right there, which is 1.5 watts. I think it's about uh, 122 milliamps. Uh, and about that, these actually put out, I think, about 20 to 40 milliamps in full sunlight, which is not a whole great deal, but if you have a storage medium like lead-acid batteries or nickel-cadmium batteries, then you're pretty good in that way, and I'll get to that in just a second, because I actually use the batteries uh, and the, the, the cradle thing that was inside of this as my uh, battery uh, system for this. This is my usual battery over here. This is my 12 volt lead acid 4 amp hour battery over here, which is disconnected at the moment. That's why that's not on there. Uh, all of the solar panels and stuff like that normally would hook up to these little hooks here, and then I would just tap it to there and or hook it onto there, and that's how it would you know charge it and then power at night. This is the Harbor Freight connection right here. This is disconnected at the moment. Uh, the only thing that's powered up right now is this guy. So let me put that out into the sun. There we go. So now it's out in the sun now. And now our voltage will start going up. So right now we're at 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. All right, so the reason why, and it's gonna start coming down now because the sun just wants to come out. Ooh, windy, just a moment. All right, and the reason why the, uh, <clears throat> the voltage slowly increased instead of just being instantly uh, all the way up at 19 volts was because there's capacitors in this guy and that guy and the light up here um, and this inverter down here also has a capacitor in it so whenever uh, electricity is introduced it's not an instant boom uh, it takes a second for it to get up there um, with that harbor freight panel hooked up it goes a lot faster but if you hook it up to a battery it's, it's instantaneous because it's charging the uh, capacitors uh, anyway whoa focus Cell phone cameras are a little lazy sometimes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is my uh, little battery compartment thing that are, or storage media that I am using for this tiny little panel here. Uh, I've got it disconnected at the moment because I'm going to show you if it can actually power anything, which it really can't. Um, here I have a record player that used to be 120 volts and I've converted it to 12 volts. Um, it starts working on 33 RPMs at uh, five and a half volts and then we'll continue to work even upwards of 20 volts um, so with well this it just went behind the Sun again but with the panel itself um, it'll light that light and power the audio system uh, and normally it'll actually work but it just went behind the uh, Sun again uh, and it drained all of the capacitors that are in all these devices and whatnot um, but normally with the sun out it'll actually power the audio system and the LEDs on this which is there's two blue LEDs in there it'll also well, it won't power that uh, it doesn't do much on its own and that's why you need a storage media which is that thing back there so just so you can get an idea of how much power it puts out it's not that much at all um, however if you hook up this battery, this battery bank over here, uh, each battery, which there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, because I bought seven uh, solar lights. Um, this puts out 1.2 volts or 1.3 volts per battery, and I've got seven of them, so we are at about 8.4 volts. Um, and the solar, uh, solar, the little tiny solar panels can actually charge these relatively well. So let me put those in there. Each of these batteries, by the way, uh, let me see if I can actually get it to show is a NICAD battery. It's a AAA, normal size. It actually fits into a AAA uh, 
compartments in like Game Boys and things like that. And it puts out about 300 milliamps. So let me put that in there. Now the voltage drops down to the voltage of the batteries while the panels still charge them over time. And we're at 9.06 volts. And now with those batteries that I got also for the dollar that all those other things came with, I can actually turn this on and actually, I can actually start the record player. Turn it up too. So that works. I can also turn on a CB radio over here. We don't want to talk on that channel. But, you know, I just have the CB radio just because I like 12 volt, uh, you know, stuff. And this is one of those 12 volt, this is one of those 12 volt things. Um, but I hardly ever get anything on this except for one of those days where skip conversations come in if you know about those. Um, but I can never talk back to them. So it's kind of neat to hear it every once in a while, I guess. But that works. Um, the speaker system over here also works. And that is hooked up to the record player. Let me turn that back on for a second. And of course I can't play that for very long because YouTube will freak out on that. Um, so that works. And then this radio over here also works off of those little batteries. Whether it's some game time snacks for an unexpected crowd, a backseat dinner before soccer practice, or a post homework treat, it's easy to make together happen. It just takes... And this one over here has a tape deck, which is kind of eh on this one. And then it also has a CD player up there as well. And that is all powered by those tiny little solar, pa uh, solar panels out there. And it's even got a little light up there. However, that, because of the current voltage of this guy over here, uh, only going up to about 8 to 9 volts, um, that doesn't actually work too well. Like, I think I can turn it on. Like, it lit up a little bit, but it requires 12 volts to work correctly. It's an only a 3-watt light. Um, if you guys want, I can put the, a link to the description down in the video down below so I can so you can actually buy one of those. It's really neat. Uh, you can hook them up backwards or forwards. It doesn't care at all. Uh, so that's a really easy way to get lighting. Um, but yeah, that little tiny panel out there uh, charges these little batteries here. Um, and it even comes with the little cradles and everything like that. And it even comes with LEDs as well if you want to make a lighting system out of it. Um, the chips are, in, in my uh, situation, are really useless. Uh, they're so low voltage, I don't know what the heck to do with them. Um, so, yeah, but all of that, those batteries, the, the cradles, uh, a little bit of the wire, and the panels over there, um, all for a dollar each. Uh, so I spent a total of about seven dollars, uh, US dollars, and uh, probably, what, 40 cents or so in taxes or something like that, so seven dollars and 40 cents, and I got all of this to tinker around with. Pretty cool deal. Anyway, uh, that's the video, I guess. Um, probably gonna do a video on that Harbor Freight one out there. It's pretty much the same thing, more or less. It powers everything, except I use this bigger battery for it. Um, yeah, so that's about everything. Uh, also, because that battery out, I mean, this uh, solar panel out here is the same voltage as that one, I can actually hook them up in parallel and charge that battery over there even faster when I actually have it hooked up. All I have to do is just take one of those batteries out and this battery pack over here becomes, uh, it turns itself off because, you know, there's no current going through all the rest of the batteries anymore. And I can charge this guy instead, which is really cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks. Bye.